Alright, welcome to part 2 of my two-part series on this, on ARP9, Genji ARP9. This is going to be the low receiver down to the gearbox, just disassembly of it, and yeah, so I guess let's get into it. So first, and um, also by the way, there was a part 1, will be linked in the description, so just go down and look for that, and yeah. So let's get right into this. So, First, what you want to do is punch out right here. This it's orange for mine. I think you can get it in like five different colors. So this one, mine's orange. You usually just want to take like a punch or something and punch it out with like a hammer. Tap on the top. I'm just whacking it with this until it goes out. And you do that. You want to push it up. And pull it out so it can go over that little hump right there in the gearbox. We're gonna put that aside because we won't be using that. But um, so yeah, here we go. So first things first, let's get out this little part. So um, you might want to get like I have a little um, uh, where is it? I no, well, I guess I had get like you should really want like to get like a little bowl or something like i used to have like a magnetic bowl that you can um buy out. i forget where i got it from here it is actually right here just to keep all the little screws and stuff there's not too many but you know there's still enough to you'll be able to lose a fair amount and might not be able to find them again so just get something like that and i have like cracks in my table right here so just watch out for um screws going places and springs and um yeah so i guess without further ado let's get into this so you're going to start to take this off by um there's a little pin here you're just gonna kind of push that out i just get like a nail and just kind of flip it out really quickly and then gonna come off it's gonna have a spring right there that's just absolutely covered in grease and yeah i guess that's gng for you there's also some o-rings on here let me see if i can get this one here we go there's a little little oh where'd it go oh, here it is there's a little tiny o-rings and stuff so like i said you know be careful about um stuff falling off and um yeah there's little tiny o-rings on here and stuff so yeah here we go so i'm gonna put that in the bowl all right now we can actually get into the disassembly so first you want to push this up take this all the way all the way off put that over here mm -hmm. and now you're gonna take this off put that over here and now you're gonna pull out your MOSFET and stuff like that to reveal. There's gonna be a screw down in there. Flash it like that. All the way down there, you see that? There we go. See that right there? That, you're gonna have to unscrew. That's a Phillips head. So the little plus arrow thingy. You're gonna unscrew that. And then... Yeah, so you just want to take something really long, and what I find is easiest for me is I pull out, I pull the strings kind of tight, bend it down, so then they're all up against this side, and then I'll put it down in there, and then I'll just feel around, once I get to the very bottom, I'll feel around for the, um, the screw, and then once I hit it, this is like the trickiest part out of it all because it's super hard to get the, uh, there we go. So, flip around and once I hit something, I'll kind of pull the, pull it up and get it in the uh, grooves and then unscrew it. But like I said, this is like the hardest part. To, there we go. Oh, wait, nope, I stuck it in the wrong one. Um... Like I said, this is like the hardest part for me at least to do because it's just, it's a big guessing game almost, you know? 
I just kind of go back and forth, and then I just kind of hope and pray I get it. Oh, I'm close, I think. Oh, no. oh, there we go. There we go. Alrighty. So I don't want to lose that somehow. But um, yeah. You might want to hold over here. Just I don't know. It might crack or something. But so once this is completely off. There we go. So once this is off, you're just gonna kind of push this part through a little bit, and then. You're gonna, you're gonna push out that silver thing. So. There we go. You just kind of whack it. Then just kind of shake it a little bit, and there we go. Fill out the bottom. So now you should have these two things, and then put that to the side. There we go. So now, now you can feed your MOSFET and stuff through. Right here, remember be very careful with the electric wires and stuff. I know you probably already know that, but just restating it because that would really suck if you, you know, you know, like break it or pull off a little electric cord and then, you know, I don't personally know how to fix the electrical stuff, so that would suck for me really bad. So, um, but anyway, enough of that. Now, so... If you wanted to, to take out the mag release right here, you push um, this in. I'm not going to just for time's sake because I, I think this will be a fairly long, long video. But um, yeah, you just push this, this little thing out right there. I don't know what side it will be because I, I haven't taken off, I had no use for it, but, um, and a quick little side note, some people like to put, like, um, some buffers right in between here, just so it doesn't snap back, I don't know, that's other people's personal preference, I don't really care that much, but, um, yeah, so, anyway, now, from, um, with that, we're gonna push out this pin, so, what I'll have to do is I'll get, like, a, uh, roll of duct tape or something like here's electrical tape and I'll put I'll put it over for me mine it's on I think I have to hit it out on the left side so but yeah you just put the pin over the hole in the middle of the tape and then you tap it out that way there we go so yeah for me it was the left side. Actually, no, it wasn't. Wow. All right. So it was the, actually the right side. The yeah, I should have tapped it out for the left side. So it was actually the left side instead of the right side. So I'm gonna find that in. And then put it out like man, before I have taken this apart. That's why I, because the video I watched, he said one side and it was wrong for my gun. So it can be different with um your gun. It might be this side. You just have to tap it out and um find which one it is. So that can be a lot easier. And then see why, which side I said. See how that side is like grooved. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that clearly, but it's a lot. It's like um. It's rigid instead of the other side, which you can see isn't that that just helps it like stick in and stay in place and have just falling out just like a normal pin would. So after you have that, you can put that to the side, move some of this stuff out. Now you're gonna get this one. This one is fairly easy to get out as well. Just kind of put something there and there we go. And by the way, this. I blunted the tip of this nail a little bit. I just kind of like whacked on concrete. If you guys don't have like a punch or something. But yes, then you guys can pull this out. Right here, there this is. Put that to the side. And now you can pull out your gearbox. What you want to do is you want to kind of put like, um, actually, no, wait, hold on. You put, you take this out. So. You're gonna take the this um this plate off and the gear. You're gonna take that out. So these are um, Allen keys. So I think this no nope, one second. Let me a little bit bigger. So right here. 
There we go. Alrighty. So, yeah, like I said, these are Allen keys. Mine is, um, 564th. Or, yeah. 564th. I don't think that really means. I don't think anyone really knows what that is. I don't. I just kind of read it. But, um, yeah. So, unscrew that. And this is where it kind of gets into a little bit of little bitty screw parts. There we go. That is that. Here we go. So here is the engine. And so you really want to take a good look at this with the wiring. Plus is down here. Minus is up here. The plus is on the lower part. Minus is on the top is on the higher part. It doesn't say or yeah, it does say minus is the big bar that's right there. But um yeah, so you wanna um unplug unplug these. There we go, just like that. You just want to pull it straight up and then unplug this one. There we go. And so the orange one wraps around and the black one just puts right there. So you'll move it to the side and then pull your motor out. There it is. This is so, um, yeah, here is the uh, beautiful motor. Mm hmm. So I'll put this over here and now, so. Down here, there is going to be um, more Phillips head screwdriver um, screws. So these are going to be a little bit easier to put in. You can see them. Actually, not really. I'll it again. So you guys will probably be able to see it in your gun, but I just want to make sure you guys know where it is. There's one here. Let me see if I can. There's one right there. There's one right over there over like right the red wires in the way but it's over over there there's one down uh there right there so yeah you guys can probably just see that anyway but um yeah so like i said um phillips head screwdriver these are a little bit easier to see but it's still pretty make sure you're unscrewing it when you get onto it. There we go, all right. There's one. And when you're doing the second one, I would hold on to the gearbox instead of the pistol grip because, yeah, that'd be, uh, there's one screw. And then, And that's two, so there we go. There we go. All right, so and that is second screw done. Your gearbox might just kind of like come out a little bit, and that's what we're trying to get to in the end, ultimately. So now, when you pull this pistol grip off, um, like I said, be careful with the wires. Be very, very careful. You uh, really don't want to screw these up or anything because you know you have to replace everything and it's a big hassle. So, but yeah, so you just want to see what way to bend it and bend it that way. And there we go. There's the pistol grip, all in all of its glory. Put that over there. Crack, crack your back really quickly. Do a little. Alrighty, now, so. Now we're going to pull this through. So you're just going to take this and you're going to kind of come up on like a diagonal angle, right? And um, so once you get this kind of up and out, there we go, once your trigger comes out, you can pull that off, put your wires through, and watch out for your MOSFET because this is as tight as your um, battery place that held it so and there we go that's that all right i think that's the little receiver right there all right and now 
the gearbox. Dun dun dun. You know what I'm saying? So this is a sort of a tricky part, I guess. Um, some people have other methods on getting the gearbox, you know, open and stuff. But um, if for those of you who don't know, there's a really high pressure spring in there, and what all this does is it takes back something, and then the spring. Once, I'll explain it when it gets inside, but it shoots forward and whacks this thing, which whacks the BB out, and, you know, so forth and so forth, and you hit somebody. But, um, yeah, there's a, there's a spring right here, and it's under a lot of tension. So, yeah, be very, very careful of that without shooting out or hitting someone in the eye or, you know, going through your wall. I don't think it has that much pressure, but, you know, can't be too careful now, can you? But, um, yeah. So, you want to start out by unscrewing all these screws. I like to leave these two screws for last because this is where the spring is. So, let's just get right into that. But, yeah, these aren't that big of screws. Well, actually, no, some of them are. A lot of them are. But, yeah, there's... That's the screw. Remember, you really want to keep these all um, together. Because, yeah, I'll do a reassembly of it, of obviously, but you never know if one will get lost or something. Or, you know, you might confuse one for another, and then you'll be really like, what the heck just happened? So, just another little reminder of, uh, you know, keep everything together. But these, um, these top screws are the ones that are really short. This one's as long as the other ones, but these top ones aren't that, aren't that long. that one that one so that one all right so now when it comes to the tricky part you are going to hold it down right it's not gonna really come undone but I like to hold it right just in case if it comes up, you know. I just could these like normally. And then once this is fully out, here we go. Alright, that's the fourth one. There should be four of each silver screw, so the small and the large one. I think four. Yeah, that's four. Alright, and now once that comes out, now, what you're going to do is, while you're still holding it together, oops, not bad, you're going to flip it over to this side. Now, a lot of people have different, like, opinions on, you know, what way to do it and what way is better or not, but, um, I guess this is old school, you're going to push each of these down a little bit, so... Just kind of get them a little bit like. Just put them a little bit farther back. And you know, they don't have to move exponentially, but just like. Just a little bit of like a push, if you want to call it that, you know. A little bit of a push down. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to get like a little, um screwdriver-ish thing or something that's just that's just big enough actually no, this is way too small oh, crap um i think this can fit actually uh, no, that can't fit um here we go all right so you want to put this in here and you want to hold your finger on this on the blue part right and so this way, and then once you lift this up, you want to hold, you want to hold this end down and this down. You want to lift, actually you want to hold, hold up, there we go. You know, you just kind of got to get comfortable with it. But once you do it a couple of times, you'll get, you'll get used to it. And then, there you go. so there's the gearbox and you want to transition into holding the spring down. Take that off and then you kind of lift it up and then just slowly decompress the spring and there we go i'm sorry i don't know how hard that was to see i am very sorry if you want to put something in the comments yelling at me and saying a little bit zoomed in or something 
Please tell me that because, you know, my feedback is from you guys and, you know, that's, that's just how it's going to work. So, yeah, please feel free. And so now, you can take off this sticker. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> you know, famous last words. <laughs> but, um, yeah, here we go. So here is this nice little thing. And so, um, so why we pushed the things down is most of the time you have to transfer the, uh, the, uh, three things, the three, I keep saying things, the three little rods over back into here. But since we pressed it down a little bit, it was, it was free. So it could just stay there. So you take out your spring, your spring guide. I'll put that over here. All right. Now you want to take out your, um, trigger and, um, this, your trigger is under a little bit of, um, spring pressure. Let me see if I can't, okay, yeah. Trigger's under a little bit of a spring pressure, so when you lift it up, just be a little bit careful of not losing that spring. There we go. Alrighty. There's a spring and the trigger right there. I'm just gonna put these two together. Put them over here with all the other parts. Alright. Now... You want to um, decompress all the uh, the spring tension, just overall. You know, just kind of like common sense. Just so, just get like I don't know anything you really can, and just kind of like pull this part up a little bit, just up and off this. There we go. And then you're gonna lift this up and off. And there's that. So remember really don't want to lose the spring there all right so now so and i forgot to mention how this works this gets pulled out and then with by on um, this when this rotates up it gets pulled out and then once it runs out of them um, teeth the spring which is back here pushes it in whacking this forward which whacks this which makes it come out that's yeah that's that's just quick and simple explanation right there so now you can take this off. Watch out because there are a lot of like washers and stuff. And you really don't want to lose any of those. So there's one gear right there. You can take this one off. And then watch out for the, uh, the anti-reversal latch right there. That will kind of like go forward. There's that one. Then you want this is under spring tension as well, a little bit, not too much, but just enough. So that one right there, anti reversal latch. Then you can take this part off right there, another gear. Alrighty, and now the techie part. Ooh, scary. So now gonna take this part off this is also under a little bit of um spring tension by the way not like too too much but you know a little bit just enough for it to be able to pull it up there we go there's the little springy thing and this part goes on to this wall when you push it down which i guess that's kind of obvious but you know you never know there we go there's that and now All right, guys, I'm sorry. This is very quickly for the um, reinstallation of everything, but um, my camera's dying, so it's going to be a little bit quicker than what I guess normally I would do, but yeah, let's hop right into this. So first, what you want to do is going to install the last thing we took off. So you're going to put this right like so right there. Then you're going to screw in screw Phillips head screwdriver again you know all the jazz and crap like that screw that in do 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 all right if you want to you can put in this little springy guy right there you don't really have to right now you could put it in at the end but I mean I'm just gonna do it just show you guys so now there it is all right so now Put this back in you just put the wire i really hope you guys can see everything that i'm doing um yeah there we go that's a little bit better so you put the wire kind of back 
just where it was, kind of press it back into what where it came out of, and press this all back in to its original spot. There we go. Just like that. There we go. So now you have that. And you want to screw this into that screw right there. There we go. Alrighty, there we go. That's that. So now what you want to do is reinstall this. These right here. Alright, next what you're going to want to do is install this right here. This just goes in this one, just like that right there. Then, you're going to install this little bugger right here, this guy. So this goes up and over like that. Like that, I don't know how well that's going to show out. Well, but yeah, you guys get the idea, I think. I hope, because that would suck. And that's just going to go right there. Alright, now, after that, we're going to put Ooh. get this guy. You're going to push this back. Put the bevel gear right in. There you go. As long as this right there as long as that's like that back and not pressed against the black one as long as it's pressed against the silver one then you're good to go now we can install this this one right here it's going right here it's going in just like that and there you go and voila again now we're going to install this here we go so you just want to make sure to align this up with these little indents right right there. And just align it up like that. There we go. And um and we can't forget about this little guy, this spring. You just wanna hook this up and then pull it way. Oh, I dropped it. Frick. This is going hold up. Sorry, this is going a little wonky. Eh? There we go. Alrighty, now drop it into there just like like so. There we go. Alright. You hang this around. Then you want to pull this up. Oh frick. Frick again. Frick again. Frick for the fourth time. And no fricks for the fifth time. Hey, let's go. Alright, so now that's ready for that. Alrighty, now we're going. Whew, it's really hot in here. Alright. We're going to put in la trigger. All right, now we're going to install the trigger. So what you want to do, you want to put this in, and just like so, like that. Then you're going to want to. Well, this is a little tricky part. You put it up around like an under. And then, here we go. All right, there we go. You want to make sure the trigger can, like, hold itself almost right in there. Now you have everything pretty much in. You're going to put your string, or your uh, spring. That's why I'm not string in there. Put that in. So, now, this is the tricky, sort of a tricky part, because you're going to put your shell back onto here. Now, you can have a bunch of different ways to do it, but... All I'll do is I'll um you want to make sure this is facing kind of like like that, right? 
so, so these can latch into the divots on the side. So make sure these knobs are kind of like up like that. So then what you're going to do is take one of these again. You're going to push it in until there. There we go. This is the super trickier part. It can either go super fast or super not fast. That's the scientific term actually for us. <laughs> All right, guys. So after like 20 minutes, I finally got it on. You just got to play with these to make sure they all align, you know, and then, yeah, that's, I'm sorry. I didn't get a video. This was charging my, uh, GoPro was charging because it's, it's, oh my gosh, it's crazy how just like hard it was to get that on, but yeah, so as you can see, I already started screwing it in, I did not want this thing to open back up again, like, oh my gosh, it just killed me, like it's, it's, oh my gosh, but anyway, we'll press that now, so, you know, yeah, I guess you guys probably know the drill. Tiny screws up top. Right here. Top four tiny screws. Long screws along the bottom. Long silver screws. Right, and then... Here we go. And then one more. This video is gonna be so long. Oh my gosh! I was, if you guys, if you guys made it through this, please just say something in the comments or something, cause this has been insanely long. Alrighty, Whew. all right. We just did that. Whew. All right, now we're gonna put it back into the lower receiver right here. So what you're gonna do? We'll just make sure, make sure the trigger kind of um gets through first or first actually you want to feed the MOSFET through and that kind of and I'll make sure all like the big kind of techie looking stuff is through and that stuff and then put the and then just kind of all pull it along as you're as you're going you know just kind of That. Then put the trigger through, just like that, and then you're gonna put in. Oh, it's crazy, man! And then you're gonna put in um this pin right here. Just gonna try to align everything up perfectly. There we go. Get all the way through there we go just like that and then you're gonna put this in and like i said last time whatever side you want to punch out put it through the opposite side so i'm gonna have to punch mine on the right side so do this a little bit of tapping in there we go so this is all in there now all right now we're gonna put on the pistol grip right here if what voila all right so now you're gonna put the um, MOSFET, or not the MOSFET, these wires. The black one goes to the top hole, and the red one goes to the bottom one. There's one, there's two, so both cords are through, and there we go. So now, what you're gonna do is screw in the two screws these two screws in the bottom. There's four holes you can put them in, but there's only two screws. So, you, you choose one, you go for it, and you screw it in. There we go. And like I said, it's really nice to have a magnetic um, screwdriver because you can put screws on the end and then put them all the way down, you know, instead of having, um, having to, like, 
guess all around where to put the stuff, you know. And you do want it to be diagonal, by the way. So, if you put one in one end, put it on the opposite side on the other end. So, like, if you put one on the left, put it on the right, and, you know, back and, you know, same for the, same for the other side. There we go, alrighty. Alrighty, so. There we go, alright, now we're gonna put. Hmm, you know, we're gonna put this little guy in. And now, remember, what I said the addition is on the bottom, right? So you want your Myers back like this. All right, and make sure the inner is free or clear. All right, there we go, that's good. You want the positive to wrap around, to push into this little, this little thing right there, right there. This is gonna go over top, this is gonna go onto it, like so, like that, there we go. And the black is gonna go same thing, but on the opposite side. I know, I guess perfect timing, but you know, try to be gentle with all the cords and stuff. I know I just dropped it and crap, but like still, you know, you want to really try to keep this in good shape. So now, you're going to take this, it's going to go in between the two wires, like that. It's going to go over top of that, push it down, make sure all the wires are out of the way. Push it down and screw it in with these. There's a lot of that one actually worked. It wasn't even a hexagon or a, um, whatever it's called. But yeah, so this is just going down into it. There we go, that's that, voila, all right. So now, we're gonna put back in this thing. Remember that guy? Just gonna put him like that. Line up the holes almost. And remember the O-ring right there? Just gonna push it through. You can push it, yeah, like I just did, you can push it out the other side, so. Try to make it as even as possible, and then there it is. All right, now you're going to feed the MOSFET through the side with this thing on it. Feed that through all the way, I'd say, up until like here. And now you're gonna put this through. So, what you're gonna want, you want the wires to be th through here on the lower side. So, you're gonna go like that and then screw into the back of here. So this is kind of a tricky part, but it's not it's not too incredibly difficult. It's just a little bit of time consuming and tedious, you know, but once you get it, it's it's pretty straightforward from there. But um yeah, so you want the wires on the bottom and then you just want to kind of shake it and mess around with it until the screw end comes out like this. And then you gotta align, there we go, wow that was actually really fast this time. But actually we know I didn't get it. Um, there we go, that's, I think that's it, wait, nope. But as long as we Houston, we have a problem. Alright, there we go, I think that's, nope, that's still not, wait. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. So I don't know how well you guys can see. Let me tap the screen. There we go. Oh, well, yeah, you guys can see that. But like that, you want it to be out very. You want the screw to be out a lot, and then um, you're gonna screw it in from the 
on this side. So now this is like the super super tricky part, getting it to stay on the screw almost. There we go. All right, so then like that. Pull the wire, and then hope you get it into the um. End of it, I think I did, so then you just screw it in and hope for the best, I guess. You know, and there we go, that's it. You put your MOSFET back in, or yeah, I guess this should go first. You put everything in, make sure everything, nothing's like stripped or hurt, you know. I guess is the easiest way to say it. Put your this thing back on. Go. Put this up through here like that. Go just like that. And then top receiver. You want to poke. Remember, you want to poke this down right there. The inner barrel fell out. Put the inner barrel back in. You hold this thing back up. So on top of it, wiggle it around a bit. There you go. And that is that is it. Voila. Just like that. That's how everything is good. Voila. There you go. So, I hope, really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it to be helpful. Please, if you found anything I did wrong or something doesn't work, please just put it in the comments or just something you liked about this video. And yeah. And um, I guess I'll see you in my next video. I think part one will be linked in the description. And so part two for part one, but I guess it doesn't matter for whoever's watching this one. So yeah, like, and um, please, yeah, consider subscribing. That would really help me out a lot. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.